today we're going to be growing crystals. Now, most of you might not know what crystals are. Fortunately, we have this kit to help us. But before we open it, now I'll explain a little bit about it. Crystals are a type of liquid that hardens over time. They're made out of geometrical shapes. Now, enough talking. Let's open this. Ta-da! Have a look. So in here, there's also a guide about crystals. There's a record keeping log. There's a safety leaflet. And here are the real crystal growing stuff. So, according to this, we have six to eight options to grow some crystals. I think I'm going to grow a gold citrine. According to this sheet, we have all these stuff inside. This is a measuring container. This is a type of crystals. Number seven, aquamarine blue. This is number three, Rama Quadras. This is number four, purple atomist geode. And this are a pile of rocks. These are our containers. This is a projecting ring. This is another container. This is a power pop stick for some strange reason. Now, this is something if we want to grow crystals on strings. This is a pair of glasses to keep your eyes safe from goggles. And here are the rest of the crystal choices. This is gold citrine. I'm going to keep it in there. Here are the other few. I'm going to keep my goggles on, then I'm going to read. Alright, let's start. Okay, before doing any experiments, this says to keep your date, time, crystal number in a record keeping logbook. For that, they've given us this. I'm going to do this later. First, I'm going to start on the experiment. Step 1. With the help of an adult, use a saucepan that's no longer used in the kit kitchen and only used for mixing chemicals. For this, I'm going to go in the kitchen and me and my dad are going to mix this and heat it up in some hot water. Come on, I'll show you the result later. So me and my dad have heated up our crystal with water. It should look like this. I have chosen red ruby. It also told us in the instruction booklet how much mLs of water we needed. Over here it says 34. So when you're going to get your kit, it will also tell you. Now, I've also left a little bit of the crystals when I sprinkled some and heated it. That's just to put it on top. Now, our next step is to pull out two rocks. One, two. And choose any container you like. I want the circle one. Now, keep both of your rocks here. And now, very carefully, pour in this liquid. Done. And I'm going to sprinkle some top, and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on top. So guys, even though it'll take three whole days to be formed, I'll show the progress as we go along in this video itself. But for now, I'm going to keep it in this room so it generally settles down. Hey guys, welcome back. So after waiting four long days, my crystals have finally formed. I can also see lots of tiny geometrical shapes joined together to make these. It's not what I imagined. I thought it would be bigger, like this. But I'll show you my crystal in just a moment. After you guys left, I decided to make a few more crystals. Like I made some on a string. You've got to be very careful while making these as well they're very fragile. I made another crystal two days ago. And I made one just yesterday. So 
platforms. I hope you enjoyed doing this with me. If you want to buy a set of your own, I've left some links down below so you can buy it from the stores. If you enjoyed this and want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Bye!